everybody, how's it going today? Uh, this is Elijah from the Ferret on the Rocks channel, and I'm just making a quick little uh, quick look video for the for everyone to see. Uh, back way back when it was a Kickstarter, I uh, backed Ukulele by Platonic Games, and uh, they just released recently uh, the toy box, which was part of my rewards package. So I was able to uh, put it on my Steam library and. Uh, Take a look at it, and I decided I would record my gameplay for y'all and give y'all my general impressions. Uh, I'm gonna cut some things out. I don't want to spoil the entire toy box if you haven't played it, and if you can't play it, then, uh, sorry, it took over an hour uh, for me to uh, get all the way through the uh, toy box. So, actually, uh, taking a look at everything in the toy box is gonna be a bit on the uh, difficult side, as it were. But, like, uh, the game is uh, <laughs> pretty tongue in cheek at the right for off from the start, which is kind of what I was expecting. Uh, the little uh, security robot uh, basically gives you a run through of pretty much everything. But the level designs are fun. Well, at least this level is. <laughs> Uh, it's all very geometry-ish, but for a pre-alpha, it's not. It's looking pretty good. Uh, I didn't have any real issues um, with uh, the gameplay at all. I found that I could control it fairly well, and uh, that uh, any uh, screw-ups were generally my fault. Uh, occasionally, the camera would get a little weird, but nothing. Nothing horrible. Uh, just a couple of weird corners and spots where uh, it didn't know where to go or it wouldn't follow exactly where I was pointing it, but it's no big deal. Nothing wrong there. Overall, the game feels really nice to play. Uh, uh, you can Lele control very well in the uh, limited moves that they give you in this uh, 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 little toy box. Uh, are Pretty much exactly what... Uh, everything you need is there. Uh, the glide feels really nice. Uh, the, the spring jump is incredibly useful. And, uh, yeah, well, there's not really too much to say, to be honest. Uh, their animations look good. Uh, there are a couple of things that I hope they uh, put into the final game, like... There are certain jumps where if you don't use a spring jump and you try and you think you can just make it up on the ledge, if they hit just the lip of the ledge, they fall down. Uh, I'm kind of hoping that they put in a like ledge grab feature that'll let them grab and either haul themselves up or I don't know something. I, I feel like it would help it flow a little better, so I didn't have to use the. So I wouldn't have to use the spring jump in every single, every single time that I uh, needed to make a jump. But uh, other than that, the, that was really the only issue that I had. Uh, the, the toy box is huge. The level took about an hour, just this one level to go through, which was making me really excited for the Fledge game. Uh, but you can also uh, see like all the things that they're experimenting with, all the things they're trying to use. They they have a there's a secret little hidden section with uh, particle effects, like a bunch of different particle effects and how they look lighting wise. There's a uh, there's a little section with camera angles and like how they might change it for different puzzles and such, which I thought was really interesting and. Uh, they actually had a strange, uh, dropping of the Steam forums, or their website forums, to tell them, like, what works best, what works here, did this work? But, other than that, it was a really open level with a lot of things to explore through, which is exactly what I wanted. Like, the, there were there were a ton of little secret things to find, and like little things that you had to come across, and or if you wanted to find all of the little uh, quills. And after you find all of the quills, there's another secret, which is it's really funny, and I'm not gonna spoil it here. So, 
Um, yeah, but what else did there to say? It was really fun to play through. Uh, I had a good time uh, jumping around and exploring. And it's pretty much exactly what we were asking for. So uh, I've got no problems, and I can't wait to see the full game. Uh, anyway, like I said, this is just going to be a short little quick look video. Again, there's not too much to say, and if I force you to watch all of my gameplay, uh, you'd see how terrible I am at <laughs> platformer, 3D platformers. And uh, I don't want to out myself. I don't want to out myself uh, too hard at the moment. Uh, but all things considered, I think the game's looking really great. Can't wait for the full-fledged thing. Dialogue was pretty funny here and there, uh, where it was. I kind of wish that um, Yuka and Lele had a few more lines in this uh, little toy box demo, but uh, I'm not going to complain with what I got. Uh, so if you uh, back the Kickstarter, go on to the backer kit and get your code, and I recommend downloading it now. It's a real fun playthrough, and I hope that everyone can enjoy it. Well, thank you all very much for watching. I hope, hope you all enjoyed this video, and I hope you enjoyed seeing the little gameplay that um, I did play. I hope you all are having a fantastic day. Thank you very much.